this series if you are committed to it we mark a new change a new course in your life especially if you have been living in drought famine poverty for too long in this series you will realize the very reason why things have not worked for you even though you have been serving god for so long we have many people who are god's children who are god's servants many pastors many preachers whose life lack color and beauty they have done all they can but things are just not coming the way they want they want the reason is not perfect i took my time because if you don't ask questions you will not receive the bible says ask and you shall be given seek you shall find when i began to ask god and seek his face and say why is it that many people who follow you are living the downward life of nothingness then he placed upon my mind that do God lie? I said, no, God will never lie. Then he said, the problem is with the individual, the people, those who serve him. I said, what, what and why? He said, the reason is simply this. One single secret to coming out of famine and poverty and the lackluster life is this. Stop depending on the arm of flesh. You might begin to wonder, is this so easy? Is that all? I've been serving God all this year. I've been following Him. Yes, you have been serving Him. But the arm of flesh has deceived you. It's something that creeps into man with who is not very attentive to the inner nudging of God. Let's start with many men of God. When they start out in ministry, they have good plan, good purposes. But along the line, something happened. They began to scheme, have their own design their own standard, their own way of doing things, based on the forces of the world, based on the settings of our world, based on how human beings do things. This is why when you go to many churches, one church to the other are more or less a replica of one another. One collects offering a certain number of times, the other one also want to collect offering the same number of times. One, use special words to make people to drop offering. The other one also does the same thing, and so on and so forth. One want to grow a large church. He found that the own ministry used a particular method. He also believed if he used the same method, it will work for him. Arm of flesh. This is why such a pastor will not rise beyond a level. I'm of flesh. Some people believe when I help somebody, if I pray for somebody, they ought to remember me. Joseph was dealt with by his brethren, even though he was a good boy. In the palace, in the house of Potiphar, he was dealt with arm of flesh. When he thought the king's servant will remember him, he was forgotten. The arm of flesh. Men will not remember you until God remember you. Arm of flesh. So work in some establishment. They can see that many people that have left their establishment never left with anything tangible. But they are hoping that their own case will be different. If you are hoping in such, it looks like insanity. I'm sorry to say that being a low thinker because that person has shown you all he wants. No man can give more than what is capable of capable of giving. And after many years of working and leaving the establishment, you look back and say, is God faithful? God 
God is faithful, but you never ask him for help. You thought the human arrangement, human establishment will solve your problem. Human establishment doesn't solve anyone's problem. Is it the government? Is it the pension scheme? And so on and so forth. All these are limited to factors and situations and policies, arms of flesh. I told a friend of mine, I said, men of faith employ men who doesn't have faith. Some may not really be believers, but they have the faith of starting a business and establishment a conglomerate. And it prosper. They employ those who have no faith. I'm not saying you don't be an employee, but even when you are an employee, always believe and look up unto God for the infinite supply of all the help you need. And I'm explaining why some people are in the root all along their lives. Because they depend overly on the factors around them. Some look at their brothers who is in over us in over us. Some look at the, their friends who are well off in life, forgetting, forgetting that nobody has anything except they are giving. You too can look up unto the Lord who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ever ask or imagine. If you learn this, you will leave the land of not enough to a land of abundance. Because when you begin to look up to God, He will give you an instruction that will, that will lead you to the spring of unending favor, joy, provision, help, supply, mercy. They that look at other gods, follow other gods, for faith, the mercy that will come their way. In ending this discussion, I want you to take time to read the scripture over and over and over again. If you read it well, it will change your story forever. I'm still reading it. I'm still asking God, help me, Father. Let's read and take it seriously. God bless you. May we read Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5 to 8. It says, Thus said the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusts in man, and make flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Why is he cursed? He is cursed because man is independable without God. No matter how good somebody is, he will fail you somewhere, sometime along the line, because he is a man. In the course of our time, go to the Bible, the pharaohs, the people in the Bible, a lot of people, they fail one another. The Lila sold out Samson. Uh, Jacob stole the birthright of his brother, and so on and so forth. Judas so that Jesus Christ. Peter denied Jesus Christ. The best of man is to disappoint at a point in time. Cursed be the man that trusted the man and make flesh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. Six, for he shall be like the heat in the desert. This is why many people are suffering. When they depend on man, all the good things in their lives begin to drop here and there and they be begin to want. I know people that run after governor politicians for years and the little they have were lost because they wasted time following man. And they shall not see when good come, but shall inhabit the patch places in the wilderness, in a such land and not inhabited. Seven, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. And whose hope the Lord is, verse 8, for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreads out her root by the rivers, and shall not see when problem comes, because he's hidden in the Lord. When challenges are coming, God will tell him where to be at the exact moment. He will be delivered from the troubles of the world. But her leaves shall be green. And shall not be careful in the year of drought. There will be drought in the world over and over and over again. As COVID-19, 
uh, economic meltdown and so on and so forth. But if you are really serving the Lord, you just find out that He is, is always ahead of you to solve your problem if you trust in Him. Neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Isaiah chapter 17, 5 to 8. He says, if you serve the Lord, you will keep yielding fruit. Your fruit will be constant. Your life will be beautiful. Before the time of drought, He will position you rightly. I think if you take time to look at this, you will understand why many people are in pain. Don't use human design. Saul lost his kingship because he followed the dictate of his followers. Read your Bible. The voice of man can destroy. Absalom was destroyed by the voices of men. The praises of men got into him and he was destroyed. As somebody God has sent a message that has given you a program for your life, don't short change it because people will come to tell you that it is not possible. It is between you and God. If you trust their word, you will crash. God tells you, go and marry a particular person, your prophet, or somebody else, go to another place. The voice of man will fail, but the voice of God is eternal. Learn to hear God for yourself. Learn to be able to understand Him. If you are a child of God, there's a way He speaks that you will understand. If you pray diligently, you will hear Him. Follow His voice. Stop trusting in man. Man is fickle, no matter how highly placed he is. But if you trust in God, he will send the right people into your life. And your life will be made forever. God bless you. The series continues. And I hope you follow through. It is released for you to benefit from for the whole week. It's a message that runs for a week. God bless you. I am Wale <coughs> Adewumi. For more information, always visit our website at worldchangersnetwork.org. God bless you.